Hey guys, what's going on? Ben here, and today again, I'm very excited to be bringing you a brand new squad builder on this channel. So these squad builders have been coming thick and fast recently, and make sure you drop in the comment section down below if you want me to do something different. Uh, make sure you do that, otherwise I will just keep bringing you them because I really do have fun making them. So Joe Hart in goal, I've spoke about him a thousand times, he's an awesome goalkeeper, very, very reliable in between the sticks. Vincent Company and Thomas Vermaelen, my two centre-backs, they're very, very strong. Decent pace, really good defending and physical on both of them. Vincent Company was amazing. I barely used him this year on my team, but he was awesome. Jordi Alba over at the left back spot. Amazing pace, defending and physical. That guy is absolutely flawless. He's got good shooting as well, so that adds to sort of the long shot takers in this team. Over at the right back spot, we've got Fernandez, who's very, very overlooked because he's non-rare, but 81 pace, 78 defending and 76 physical. He's also six foot two, so he can actually win some headers. He's very good indeed. Over at the centre mid spot, we have actually got a CDM, the inform Marilam Bellaini. What a play this guy is. I got him in a pack. He's very, very rare and very hard to find, but he's so strong, so good at defending. His pace is decent. He's got really good dribbling, actually, it feels like. Awesome passing. He's amazing. So over at the left mid spot, we've got Andre Scherler, who this year is amazing, just like every single year. Really good long shots, really good pace, four-star skills, and he links up very well with his teammate here, Kevin De Bruyne. What an absolute legend this guy is on all my team. I'm a Chelsea fan, and it's so upsetting that they let this guy go, but he's He's an amazing player. You can use his informs if you want. His long shots are brilliant. Five star weak, but four star skills. You can't really ask for much more than that. Ike Gundogan at the cam spot. Again, 80 pace, 70 shooting isn't the best, but he's dribbling and he's passing. He really sort of was the link between the midfield and the strikers. I know he is a midfielder, but you know what I mean. He was very, very good indeed, and he got a lot of assists for Marco Royce, I felt, in this team. Over at the right mid spot, someone that doesn't get involved ever in any team I ever build, and it's so frustrating because he's such a good player. 87 shooting. He's got amazing physical. Hulk, everyone knows about him. His free kicks are brilliant. You've got so many free kick takers in this team. And then up front, who else but the man himself, Marco Royce. Now, I understand he's not on full chemistry, and that is an issue for some people. But just wait. Just wait until the clips, and you'll see exactly why I had him in those that position. Because he's an amazing player. 91 pace. Really, really quick. 86 shooting. Four-star skills and weak foot. And let's get into the clip. So, if you look here, look at this. This is about... 45 feet per seconds into the game and he just top bags it straight away and that doesn't even end there literally about 30 seconds later pick up the ball again with him ball roll it inside cut back and then smash it into the back of the net now if you want to score long shots like that make sure you check the description because i'll be leaving my long shot tutorial they're really really easy really reliable and they do they just go in a lot of the time into the top bag and it's very very fun indeed and this squad will be perfect for those kind of goals so make sure you check that out. So Marco Royce as a striker. What an absolute god that guy was. An amazing player. Amazing pace. 86 shooting. 84 passing. 86 dribbling. This guy is just an absolute god this year on Ultimate Team. And he fits that striker spot so well. If any of you remember him from FIFA 13, he was a, he was a centre forward. So everyone played him as a striker. And he still fits that position. And I understand if you're one of those people that really like chemistry, I'm with you. I like my players that have full chemistry. It's just, it's just uh, OCD thing that I have. I like everyone to be on full chemistry. But once you play with this guy up front, you will you will never look back because he is so ridiculously good. He's on the same par, he's on the same level as people like Suarez, people like Messi, people like Ronaldo. He's that kind of caliber of player. He's in a different league to all the other players in this team. Kevin De Bruyne though was very good indeed in this team. Scherler was amazing. Defensively this team was very strong indeed. Company was very, very strong. He won everything in the air. But Marlon did his job as well. Albert, no, you don't really have to say much about that guy. His pace is ridiculous. And then Fernandez, he was he was the hidden gem in this team, in my opinion. He was very good indeed. I really did enjoy using him. And it's a shame that his, his sort of Brazilian teammate, as you can say, Hawk, didn't really get involved that much in this team. His free kicks are amazing. You've got so many free kick takers in this team. Hawk's got good free free kicks, De Bruyne's got free kicks, Schurler's isn't too bad, and Marco Royce's free kicks are amazing. And then let's quickly talk about the inform of this team, Marilyn Fellaini, what a god this guy is, he's brilliant. His strength and he's just defending, his dribbling actually feels really good, look at him here, he just turns a defender, goes back inside, lays it off to Royce, and then Royce does the rest of the job, obviously taking on one defender and smashing it into the back of the net. So this team was so fun, 
Fellaini here breaking up the play, hitting them with a roulette. He was just breaking up the play. He was just doing an amazing job. Royce, of course, was the star man of this team. So you should definitely try out this team. I'll probably give it around a 9 out of 10. There could be a few different changes with people like Hulk, who just didn't get involved too much. Here we go with Royce just tearing up their defence and finishing it into the back of the net. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you have enjoyed. Subscribe for daily FIFA content. Can we hit, let's say, 5 likes again on this video? You've been smashing that recently. But let's see if we can do that again. So again, thank you very much for watching. This has been Ben and I'm out.